So we're going to take a look at how to set up the Motorola 9190G handheld device on a Wi-Fi network. First, we're going to use the stylus to scroll down and find the Wireless Companion Wizard. Once in the Wireless Companion, we're going to see a number of options. The Wireless Configuration Editor is where we want to go. From here, we're going to go ahead and find WLANs. Those are wireless networks. It's going to take a while to scan. Once it's done scanning, find the network that best represents your local network and press down on the stylus. You're going to find a window pop up. Go ahead and select Create Profile. Once here, you're going to notice two options the profile name and the ESSID. The ESSID is automatically programmed for you. The profile name can be changed to whatever you want. I'm going ahead and keep it the same. Click Next and you're going to look at the operating mode and the country. Leave the settings as is here. Next, security mode and authentication type. Typically, a router is going to represent WPA2 personal security. Next, go ahead and check the box for Allow WPA2 Mixed Mode, Passphrase, if you do not have hexadecimal keys, and if you do not know what that is, that means you probably have a passphrase, and go ahead and uncheck the box for Added Security, Mask Characters Entered, so we can go ahead and see our password. I'm going to go ahead and check that box for security reasons, but in your case, if you want to see what you're typing, Go ahead and uncheck that box. Next, we're going to have to go ahead and enter the key. Notice that if you uncheck this box, you're going to have the luxury of being able to only type in your passphrase once so that they don't have to match. Matching enables the system to ensure that you've typed in the right key. Let's go ahead and keep the box checked and I'll go ahead and type my password in. Once the password has been typed in we're gonna notice these three check boxes go ahead and keep them checked and click Next Transmit Power to Automatic click Next Fast Power Save Mode click Save and what this is going to do is it's automatically going to create a profile and connect to that profile now you'll notice the icon up here is indicating that the profile is trying to connect to the wireless network. If the wireless network was configured properly, you should have a successful connection. That concludes our demo on how to set up a wireless profile on the Motorola 9190G handheld computer.